Good morning. On Sunday, I had the great honour and privilege of attending the Remembrance Day service at the Cenotaph here in Carrick, Fergus, and to observe as our head girl Megan and head boy Michael laid a wreath on behalf of the school community here at Carrick, Fergus Grammar School. And today, on Wednesday the 11th of November 2020, we come together as a school community to stand still, to commemorate and to remember all those who have fought in wars and battles on our behalf, and all those who have laid down their lives, who have sacrificed their lives so that we may have the freedom that we enjoy today. And the 11th of November is often referred to as Armistice Day. And Armistice, the word Armistice comes from two Latin words, the word Arma, which means weapons, and the word Sistere, which means to stop. An armistice is a truce, an agreement to stop fighting, to be still. The 11th day of November is known as Armistice Day because it was on this day in 1918 when the First World War, often referred to as the Great War, ended. It was agreed that the fighting should stop at the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. We know that the First World War started in 1914, and in a little over four years, more than eight and a half million people lost their lives, and a further 20 million people were injured worldwide. Such was the loss of life that in almost every town and village across the United Kingdom, there were many men and women who never returned from the fighting, dying for their country, for their principles and beliefs so that we today may enjoy freedom. During the First World War, the poet Rupert Brooke joined the British Mediterranean Expeditionary Force and died exactly 105 years ago in 1915. The most famous lines from his poem, The Soldier, are often read in remembrance of those who die far from home, fighting for their country suggesting that soldiers take a part of their nation with them to the grave. And I'd like to invite one of our Year 8 students, Poppy Crooks, to read to us now the poem, The Soldier. If I should die, think only this of me, that there's some corner of a foreign field that is forever England. There shall be in that rich earth a richer dust concealed, a dust whom England bore, shaped, made aware, gave once her flowers to love, her ways to roam. A body of England's breathing English air, washed by the rivers, blessed by the sons of home. And think this heart, all evil shed away, a pulse in the eternal mind, no less, gives somewhere back the thoughts by England given. Her sights and sounds, dreams happy as her day, and laughter learnt of friends and gentleness, in hearts at peace under an English heaven. The poet Rupert Brooke was one such soldier who lost his life in service to his country. In fact, he died en route to Gallipoli. And in 1919, the King George V asked the people remember and honour those who laid down their lives. Two minute silence was held at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month. A year after the First World War ended, it was not gunfire, but rather busy streets and traffic that were silent in remembrance. And today, 101 years later, Armistice Day continues to be a day when we come together to remember and to commemorate those who have given their lives so that we may have the freedom that we enjoy. And sadly, the Great War was not the war to end all wars, as some people had hoped. And on this anniversary, we remember also those who have laid down their lives in battles and wars since 1918. They include, amongst others, the Second World War, the Falklands War, the Gulf War, the war in Afghanistan, and those involved in ongoing conflict around the world. And today, as a school community, 
we at Clark Fergus Grammar School will observe a silence. What might we think and feel during that time? Various thoughts and emotions may be felt. Perhaps the sense of sorrow and grief and sadness that war brings. Perhaps gratitude for those who serve in our armed forces. Perhaps a sense of pride and belonging. And perhaps a sense of the need to work and pray for peace. In Psalm chapter 46 and verse 10 it says this, Be still and know that I am God. Being and standing still helps us to think about and reflect upon very important things. And at this stage I would like to invite one of our Year 11 students, Jimmy Miller, to read to us the poem In Flanders Fields. In Flanders fields the poppies blow, beneath the crosses row on row, that mark our place. And in the sky the larks, still bravely singing, fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep. The poppies grow in Flanders fields. The last post is about to be played, after which we will observe a silence. I invite everyone in the school community to stand at this stage.
they shall not grow old, as we who are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will.